This is the news in brief from the United Nations. More than 100,000 children in Ethiopia's Tigray region face life-threatening severe acute malnutrition in the next year, a tenfold jump over average annual levels. The warning on Friday from UN Children's Fund UNICEF comes after the agency managed to reach previously inaccessible areas in the northern region where conflict nears its ninth month. Spokesperson Marixi Mikado told a UN briefing in Geneva that aid workers' worst fears about the health and well-being of children have been confirmed. We need unfettered access into Tigray and across the region in order to provide support to children the children and women urgently need. Right now, we have just 6,900 cartons of life-saving, ready-to-eat therapeutic foods in our warehouses in Tigray. That is enough to treat severe malnutrition in just 6,900 children. Ms. Mercado said that 47% of pregnant and breastfeeding women were acutely malnourished. This increases their risk of encountering more pregnancy-related complications and of maternal death during childbirth, she said, along with the delivery of low birth weight babies. To Libya, where rights experts have appealed to the authorities to rid the country of mercenaries for the sake of successful national elections in December. The appeal comes nine months since a UN-led ceasefire agreement, which specifically called for the withdrawal of foreign forces from the oil-rich state. According to the UN Working Group on Mercenaries, well-trained and well-armed private contractors have come from Russia, Syria, Sudan and Chad and continue to operate in Libya. They should all leave and there must be an immediate end to the transfer of military weapons and materials into Libya, the experts insisted, while also warning that the presence of mercenaries could also affect regional security and stability. The development follows a warning last year by the same UN panel that Libya's reliance on mercenaries and related actors since 2019 had contributed to the escalation of conflict and undermined the peace process. Support for mercenary activity in Libya was a breach of the existing arms embargo imposed by the UN Security Council, the UN Working Group said. There must be real accountability for abuses committed by mercenaries, mercenary-related actors and private contractors, said the experts. A rise in hate crimes and attacks against Roma people on social media must be reversed immediately, a UN-appointed independent rights expert said on Friday. In a warning that the global Romani community is facing the same divisive rhetoric as faced by the Jews in Nazi Germany, UN Special Rapporteur Fernand de Varenes urged countries to act against the practice. It's tragic that almost 80 years after the Romani genocide during World War II, minorities, particularly Roma in Europe, are increasingly experiencing hate speech and are being targeted by politicians and others, he said. Among his recommendations, the right expert urged greater public education about Romani Holocaust, along with measures to address the exclusion and discrimination faced by Roma today. Roma Holocaust Memorial Day on 2nd of August marks the night in 1944 when some 3,000 Roma of all ages from Auschwitz-Birkenau camp were murdered in the gas chambers. The date also commemorates the victims of the Romani genocide by Nazi Germany and its allies. It's believed that between 25 and 50 percent of Europe's 1 to 1.5 million Roma were likely exterminated. Katie Dartford, UN News.